all right uh hey guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be showing you how to install vmware or just like any vm um some people still don't know how to get a vm and set it up so i'll just make this video quick and easy also um sorry for not uploading for like half a year i've just been lazy and doing schoolwork and stuff but uh yeah let's get into the video So for this video, I'm just going to be using Chrome because that's what most people use. So first thing you want to do is go over here and go to this um, Microsoft.com. I'll have the link in the description, but pretty much what you want to do is just go to the site. All right, once you're on the site, what you want to do is um, go to inspect element or just do control shift I and right here where the X button is, go to the three dots go to more tools and go over here where it says network conditions over here it should be like at the very bottom let me just scale it up a bit so what you want to do is uncheck use browser default just change this to like Chrome Mac and refresh the page all right once you've refreshed the page you can now just download the ISO file without going through like the installation process with like the creation tool I don't know what you call it but just go over here select Windows 10 and just go through the process like English or whatever language you want to use and with this you could just download the ISO file all right so my location is banned probably because I'm using a VPN but I have another ISO file but if you're just using this on your normal connection it should let you do it I don't know it's being weird for me but it should work for you. All right, once you're done downloading the ISO, go to the second link in the description and go over here to the VMware website and you should see the Workstation 17 Pro for Windows. Go over here and click um, download now. All right, the site is down, but I'll just have like um, a download in my Discord server if um, this site is still down, but it should be up by the time my video is done. Alright, so once you have your two files here, one should be the VMware and one should be the ISO, open the VMware workstation file. Alright, just go through the installation process, it's pretty easy. Alright, so once your um, installation finished, go over here and click license. I'll also have some keys in my Discord server or you could just look up VMware Workstation Pro Keys. It should be like the first result. It should be like um, a GitHub site or something like that. But go over here and put your key in and hit enter. And it should fully register it. So go over here and click finish and restart your computer. But I'm just going to pick no for now. Alright, so once you're done installing VMware, go over here and open it and you should see something like this so over here go and click create a new virtual machine and just pick the typical like recommended um settings or you could just do advanced if you know what you're doing and over here where it says installation disk image go over here and find where you found your um windows iso file and go over here and select that and it should automatically detect that it's windows 10 or whatever version you have Go over here and click next and put any name that you want hit next and you could put whatever um disk size you want so 60 should be more than enough but i'll just put like 100 and just go over here and finish it all right so once it's done um setting up you could go over here and power on the virtual machine but it should automatically do that once it's done if you selected it now once you see something like this you have to press any button or else it'll just get timed out so let me just reboot it all 
So once you press like any key on your keyboard, the Windows installation thing should pop up and you could just download or install Windows from there. Also if it says activate Windows, just press I don't have a product key. I'll show you how to activate it after. Alright, so once your VM finished installing, what you want to do is click install tools. But if you accidentally close out of this, you could just go to VM and install VMware tools. It's the same thing. And after that, just go through the process of installing VMware tools. Yeah, just click the DVD drive thing. And it should pop up. If it doesn't, just go to your D drive and it should be there. Alright, so once your VMware Tools is finished installing, you should notice that it's more smooth. But once you finish with that, go to Edge and just download a different browser. Or just like click start without your data and just like continue. Alright, so once you're on Edge, what you want to do is go over here to the browser and type in massgrave.dev. And you should copy this, um, this thing here over here and copy it and type in PowerShell and run it as admin and paste it in and now hit one and you should have your windows activated after that all right as you can see it says successful and now your Windows is activated and you can just do whatever you want with Windows now. And you can just close out of this. Also, since you have VMware tools, you could scale your VM to however however you want. And you could just drag and drop files now. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped and sorry for not uploading again. I should be making more videos soon because I'll be out of school and I'll just have more time and I'll probably be making a review on one of KDOT's Steelers maybe I, I don't know but yeah thanks for watching and yeah bye